Jeffrey James Weiss was born on August 8, 1988, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. His mother is Joanne Elizabeth Weiss, and his father is Daryl Baby Dash Allen Lucier Jr. His parents were an unmarried Ojibwe couple from the Red Lake Indian Reservation in Red Lake, Minnesota. The Ojibwe only allowed their tribal members to live on the reservation, which is located in northwest Minnesota, 250 miles north of Minneapolis. It is one of two closed reservations in the country. The couple separated before Jeff was born. When Jeff was three months old, his mom gave up custody of him to his father. When he was three years old, she changed her mind and decided to claim custody of him. The court sided with the mother, and she took Jeff to live in Minneapolis. However, she was an alcoholic and was abusive. When Jeff was eight years old, his father had a standoff with the police and ended up killing himself. When Jeff was 10 years old, his mom married a new man and had two children with him. However, his stepfather was abusive to Jeff. That same year, his mother and her cousin were drinking and driving and got into a car accident. The cousin died and his mother ended up with brain damage. When Jeff was 16 years old, his mother and stepfather divorced. Up until that point, his stepfather was abusive towards Jeff and never cared for him. It was no surprise that his stepfather only wanted joint custody of his two biological children, Jeff's siblings, and wanted nothing to do with Jeff. Since his stepfather didn't want him and his mother was too incapacitated from the car accident to take care of him, Jeff was placed in the custody and care of his paternal grandmother on the Red Lake Reservation. Jeff's mom eventually made a recovery and was able to talk and work again. However, Jeff chose to stay with his grandmother because she was a better parent. Due to his disrupted family life, Jeff attended numerous schools as a boy. He was forced to repeat the 8th grade because of bad grades and because he kept skipping class. He was put into special ed and was bullied. In high school, Weiss became close with his paternal grandfather, Daryl Dash Lucier Sr., a sergeant in the tribal police force, and Dash's girlfriend, Michelle Sagana. In school, Weiss was described as a good listener, but he was also withdrawn and had a history of troublesome behavior. A teacher described him as a bright kid, but lazy when it came to schoolwork. Weiss was teased by fellow students because he was tall and fat and dressed in all-black clothing with a full-length coat. He usually did not respond to their taunts. Weiss said, because of my size and appearance, people don't give me as much trouble as they would if I looked weak. Several students remember Weiss as being nonviolent. In addition, a family member said that students were aware of the suicide of Weiss's father and his mother being confined to a nursing home while he attended high school. Although he was a loner, people who actually talked to him have described him as easy to talk to and capable of understanding people. Later, Weiss was found to have posted numerous online comments expressing his frustration with living in Red Lake and feelings that his life was beyond his control. He described the reservation as a place where people choose alcohol over friendship, where women neglect their own flesh and blood for relationships with men, where he could not escape. He described it as a grave he was digging for himself. He became depressed and attempted suicide by cutting his wrists. At the last second, he changed his mind, deciding this was not the path. After he attempted suicide again in the following month in June 2004, his aunts arranged with the Red Lake Medical Center for him to be hospitalized at a facility away from the reservation. His treatment included counseling and a prescription for Prozac, an antidepressant. The doctors would later increase his dosage, but it would have no effect. He would eventually stop going to treatment. Weiss spent a lot of time on neo-Nazi websites. He also admired the ideas of Adolf Hitler, even though Weiss was a Native American. Weiss also created violent flash animations and posted them under the alias Regret. One animation titled Target Practice depicts an individual who shoots three people with an assault rifle, blows up a police car with a grenade, then shoots a KKK member. It ends when the character uses a handgun to shoot himself in the head. The animation is accompanied by the sounds of gunfire. On March 21, 2005, Weiss took a gun and fatally shot his grandfather as he was sleeping. He shot him two times in the head and ten times in the chest. Weiss then fatally shot his grandfather's girlfriend two times in the head as she carried laundry up the stairs. He took his grandfather's two police-issued handguns, a shotgun, a gun belt, and a bulletproof vest, and left. He drove his grandfather's squad car to Red Lake Senior High School, 
arriving at around 2.45 p.m. As he entered the school through the main entrance, he encountered two unarmed security guards manning a metal detector. He shot and killed the security guard while the other security guard ran away without injury. He shot through the glass beside the door to a classroom and gained access to the room. Once inside the classroom, he began shooting at students. He smiled as he was shooting people and asked one student if he believed in God. The students did their best to hide but were bunched up against the back wall. While firing upon the occupants of the classroom, he ran out of ammo and had to load another magazine. It was during this time that a male student tried to stab Weiss with a pencil. Weiss managed to reload his firearm and shot the student in the face. Weiss then left the classroom and went across the hall to the science rooms. One student stepped out of his science room to see what was happening, and the gunman shot and wounded him. The shooter then shot through the window of another science classroom and wounded another student in that room. He then entered the classroom and began firing upon the students and teacher. The students hid and crawled to the back of the science room into a multi-use office and lab supply room. The door to this office room was securely locked. The teacher held the doorknob from the inside as the shooter fired on the knob. The lock held. There was a back door leading into another classroom, and the students began exiting through this path. The police arrived at the scene, and there was a gunfight. After being hit three times in the lower back, right leg, and right arm by police gunfire, Weiss retreated to the classroom where he had shot and killed a teacher and students. He leaned back against a wall, put the shotgun barrel to his chin, and fired, killing himself. The ensuing blood and body matter sprayed the occupants and the ceiling of the classroom. Weiss killed nine people and injured five people before he killed himself. That's the end of the video. If you like the video, then like and subscribe. It only takes two seconds and it would really help me out. Feel free to check out the other videos on my channel.